When creating a send, it's going gonna, it's gonna to automatically pop up an output send window. This output send window is a fader that controls how much of the signal is being sent out. There's a couple of different factors within the, sig the fader as well. There's, um, there's panning, there's muting, and there's level. And you can affect all of these and you can automate all of these as well. When you send something out, you're always going to be able to send it out. Once you send it out, you click on it, and it's going to open up a little fader. This fader determines how much of this signal is going to be played into this signal. So me turning it up to zero is going to allow it to be played exactly the way it was at the level that it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Usually when you have an effect in there, this allows you to fine tune the amount of level, level that's going into this effect. Like I have a reverb on this track right now. So this master fader, this not, this master fader, this send window, right, is going to actually affect the level of how much is sent over there. I can also do things like panning and choose different options as far as pre, you know what I'm saying, pre-fader or post-fader so I can include the effects that are on my original audio track or not.